Tarot astrology and other divinatory arts are not a replacement or substitute for psychiatric or physical health care. Happy New Year Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what is going on when it comes to your weekly tarot forecast for the week starting January 2nd, 2023. And just a quick reminder, you do have bi-weekly astrology forecasts already up and available on my main channel page for the first half of January. So if you haven't checked them out, go ahead and check them out after this video. If you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, engagement helps this channel out a lot. So what is going on when it comes to your week? Well, this week, your big spiritual theme of the big focus is the Nine of Pentacles reversed. And so this week is all about confronting dead ends. It's all about confronting glass ceilings and taking exits that are going to present and, well, taking them. Because the Nine of Pentacles reverse can show us where diminishing returns are present or prevalent. Now, this can sometimes show up in investments of time, money, work situations, collaborations, communities. It doesn't matter. But with the Nine of Pentacles reversed, it's all about getting away from situations where the payoffs have already happened. And now we're kind of just not going any further from there. It does not mean this is going to necessarily be a bad week. Keep in mind that the Nine of Pentacles reversed is asking us to pay attention to where we are getting our outs. And that is where it can go very well for you. When it comes to your material circumstances, your work, your job, and your finances, practical affairs as it relates to your home and family life, you've got the Six of Pentacles reversed. And it looks like there are a lot of cutoffs that are going to be taking place this week. The Six of Pentacles reverse can often show up where, where we are getting a chance to be removed from something that is draining us, draining our time, draining our money, blocking us from forward movement. However, this may also come in the form of rejection, you rejecting a person, you rejecting maybe a schedule, rejecting a proposition, or removing yourself from some kind of professional or financial commitment that you have maintained until this point. Sometimes the Six of Pentacles reverse can be difficult, especially where we are cutting off maybe coworkers, problematic clients or customers, you know, the ones that get really clingy, you know what I'm talking about, or maybe the, you know, maybe even family members that can get that way. And this could be a week that does have its share of disappointing news that you are delivering. However, with the Six of Pentacles reversed, this is also about getting things back where they belong with you and plugging a lot of holes that may have been drilled in your bucket. When it comes to your community, friends, relatives, and other people in your life, you've got the judgment card reversed. And some of you may end up witnessing something that is a big red flag in a community or maybe somebody that you've been following, somebody that is maybe seen as a mentor or a teacher or maybe some kind of leader in your life. And the judgment card reversed is indicating that um, you've got to be careful. This might be another heads up, kind of like we saw with the nine of pentacles reversed about something that you need to get out of dodge with. This could be somebody that maybe did used to be very helpful to you once upon a time, but no more. Or if it's not happening to you specifically, this could be you finding out about a, a big move that a friend, a relative, or a romantic partner is taking and finally getting out of a situation that they've been in where they have been following the wrong path, following the wrong person, believing the wrong bullshit, or just believing bullshit, period or perhaps even um, suffering under the actions of another person they've allowed to have power over them. In fact, the judgment card reverse can actually be very good news, especially when it comes to groups, family situations, whether it's blood relatives, chosen family, soul family, work family, because there's also the removal of some kind of influence, policy, standard, or authority that has been dragging or blocking this group in some way. When it comes to your challenge this week, you've got the Six of Wands reversed. 
Give attention to your changes of heart. Really pay attention to where the Six of Wands reversed is all about backpedaling, getting out of things that aren't taking us forward. The Six of Wands reversed doesn't necessarily have to be a bad challenge unless you take the change of heart personally. And I don't recommend doing that. Everything that has shown up so far is about seeing where we may have bet on the wrong horse or where maybe a certain path, an investment, or trust is not giving back what we had put into it. And with the Six of Wands reversed, you are going to be seeing the exit strategies. You are going to be finding better alternatives and even getting a chance to go, well, what should I have done instead? There's the answer. Where did I go wrong? There's the answer. Okay, how do I make it as though I never made these mistakes? There's the answer. It's a humbling card, but it's a humbling card without shame. And it's possible to have humility without shame. When you get the chance to do these course corrections on a lot of these different matters, believe me, you will be setting you and yours up for a much better way. When it comes to your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you have the Knight of Pentacles upright or the Prince of Pentacles upright. And love is going into a very enterprising and very industrious way this week. And it does look like there is some kind of new boost that is coming to your world either through a partner or a spouse or somebody new that has kind of fully committed to some kind of very lucrative or very promising career path or shift in maybe their quality of life, what they want to do when it comes to what they want to bring to the home, how they want to live. And the Knight of Pentacles is all about an, a journey. It's all about a quest that we go on with this person. You and a partner, you and a crush are going to add an extra dimension to this relationship, bring in more intimacy and bonding opportunities because we are going on this journey together. And it is going to be something where we focus on strengthening the friendship between us, right? Getting into a space where it's not just about the intimacy, it's not just about passion or anything like that, but that strong, earthy friendship that really holds a union together. When it comes to those of you who are single or available, this opportunity is coming to you through somebody new. However, when it comes to the, you know, Prince of Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles, this is the type of person very similar to the King of Pentacles that is, again, very sturdy, very serious, and very mature. You get the spouse they're going to be this week, not the hot love object. That comes later. One of the things about the pentacle people you want to keep in mind, they bring the husband first. They bring the wife first that they're going to be. Again, and then the hot, sexy, you know, hyper-passionate lover comes after all of the groundwork is good and strong. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. <laughs>